What's going on everyone? It's RGB Tech back here again. In today's video, I'm testing the Winlater Bionic on a low-end Snapdragon phone. Now this isn't a brand new build. I already covered it in my previous video on a high-end device. And as expected, the performance and FPS were a lot smoother. But this time, I'm going to find out how it holds up on an entry-level Snapdragon phone. And the phone right here is the Moto G45, which is powered by the Snapdragon 6s Gen 3, the same rebranded version of Snapdragon 695. It has the Adreno 619 GPU, so here, I already installed Winlater Bionic. This is the vanilla build version. As usual, go to Settings, set Box 64 preset to Performance. Now create a new container. Set the resolution to the lowest, 600p, and the Wine version to Proton 9. In Graphics Driver, select the Turnip Driver 25. This is only for Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 or lower devices. If you are using a non-Snapdragon or any other unsupported device, then choose System Driver. Set Audio Driver to Pulse Audio. And that's it. These are the recommended settings. Leave everything else to default. Now save the container. Now in the container, you need to install Visual C++ libraries, which is very important. Also install the NVIDIA FISX driver. Now let's check out the DirectX tests to make sure it's working properly or not. DirectX 11, 64-bit, works well. DirectX 12. No, it's unsupported. And DirectX 9, yes. All right, so now it's time for the test. Here I copied PC games to this phone, so I'll simply add them to the container shortcuts so that I can custom configure some settings on these games. Choose the best DXVK version that perfectly works for that game version. And this is Stray PC. It's based on Unreal Engine 4, a pretty demanding and intensive version. So here, I'll set everything to the lowest possible. And there we go. So we can't even expect much on this low-end Adreno GPU. The performance is quite similar to the NVIDIA GT710. Only legends know. It's exactly the same FPS. But if you have a flagship phone starting from the Snapdragon 865 or higher, you'll get better performance. I've already tested it on the Poco F6 with the 8s Gen 3. It's actually really good on it. But some games actually run well, like games with DirectX 10 or 9 versions. You'll get pretty decent FPS. Like this one. This is Just Cause 2, based on DirectX 10. This thing only works on DXVK 0.96 version. Let's test out its benchmarks. And as you can see, we are almost getting stable 40s. The Bionic version is actually maintaining constant frames. Compared to other versions with frame drops, it's holding up really well. So anyways, that's it for this video. Winlater Bionic does run on low-end Snapdragon phones, but of course don't expect high FPS or smooth performance on heavier titles. Still, with the right setup, 
Some games are definitely playable, like DirectX 10 or 9 versions. And if you found it useful, feel free to leave a like, subscribe to our channel for more. And thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.